very good afternoon to one and all uh, my name is nagraj and uh, today we will discuss about the designing of directional coupler in the eds software so before going to the software so i want to know what is the directional coupler and where exactly do we use the directional coupler so i just uh, I'll explain you simple what is a directional coupler so if you wanted to couple any output that means you have to take a power take a part of signal from the existing signal with a low power so we try to use a coupler okay for example we try to give some high voltage high power rf signal from here and the high power signal is coming over here but your system doesn't want the high power signal at starting at any certain conditions so when it wants the low power signal so it takes from another port called auxiliary arm auxiliary port so where we can achieve low power signal low power same signal okay so that is their fundamental concept so you can see in this waveguide uh in this waveguide you have the port one here and port two here the coupled port here the, this is the terminated port okay so the port one the signal goes in this way the same signal comes here so if you wanted a coupled output you can take it from here okay so there are two types of different types of directional coupler hybrid coupler branch line coupler okay so linch couplers multi-hole multi-hole directional coupler single hole directional couplers okay so so transmission line isolation electric magnetic coupling so these are there so so let's not waste the time and designing so uh, uh, now i'll try to design basic uh, uh, directional coupler coupled line directional coupler so i'll uh, go to the ms paint and explain you how can we do a directional coupler so first we need to take sorry how is the brush okay we need to draw a z naught okay so this is the width would be z naught is the impedance and w naught is this so how can we find out the w naught so based on the microstrip line uh microstrip calculation microstrip width calculation we can calculate w naught and l is lambda by four we can say okay and the distance between here and here is lambda by four okay and else you can keep the l as the value which you got from the microstrip uh, transition and you have one more arm here one arm here and one arm here okay and you calculate you try to connect this and where you have this port as p1 that is the input for the port and this port as p2 and this would be the output same output port you just need to see the insertion loss between p1 to uh what is the degraded portion and you have here p4 okay and here you have p3 okay so this p3 would be terminated okay so that's isolation port we say it as isolation okay generally it is terminated so this is a coupling port so when it goes here how much of the signal it is being coming here that's the coupled port okay so that is there so we have to see the year so whether do we get 30 db or not okay i just don't want to bore you into the formulas like 10 log of the i1 by i2 and these all things how do we um, figure out this calculations directly i'll jump into the layout design so this is the isolation one so if we calculate one two one four one three you'll get it so our aim is to get good return loss 15 db below 15 db return loss and uh, below 30 db coupling loss and below uh, 40 db isolation so that is a good uh, directional coupler so directly we'll go to the ADS software cello and uh, so i'm opening the ADS software so so now i have the new workspace uh coupler underscore 30 db okay so i'll finish it
so now schematic because i have to go for the uh line calculate coupler we'll put in the coupler concept okay so i wanted to get into the line calc so line calc start line calc okay so i wanted to see uh so let's i i wanted to uh uh, uh design it in uh, let's say 10 mega 10 gigahertz okay so in fr4 that is 2.2 sorry 4.4 uh so rather than i'll go for 2.2 that is the 5880 uh because i have i know the values of uh, fr4 then so height uh, i think uh 10 mil is good enough well, because it's in 10 gigahertz 10 mil is good enough so uh, i'm not verifying whether this conductor thickness is 35 we'll go for 35 micron okay uh 35 micron okay and corn 0 0.009 and this is the rough okay 10 gigahertz you have 50 and you want 90 degrees okay let's send the size uh, convert into the mm so it's 0 0.750 and uh, 5.526 just hold on a sec so the width came up 0 0.750 and length is around 5.5 okay so we'll shall they will directly go to the uh, des designing the layout okay i've just created a layout okay and i've selected a rectangle and what is the rectangle size and the height width is 4.5 and height is 0 0.7 okay that means this is uh, so this is 6.8 length is 6.8 that means okay so length is 6.8 that means what is the length which they are trying to suggest is 5. Point okay and 0. Point okay now what is the distance between the so that is lambda by 4 so we have to calculate what is lambda first and then uh, for 10 gigahertz i'll just calculate the lambda so i've calculated the uh, lambda by 4 so that's around 7.5 mm so now we have to see the distance between 7.5 mm so i'll just draw this okay or else i'll try to create a rectangle over here very small rectangle i don't care about it so for oh, this is 7.5 7.5 is squeezed quite large okay and i'll try to move this one here okay so just check so if i click on these all so uh, now i'll try to move this from here to here and i'll try to copy this okay i'll try to minimize this one as okay point seven point seven point eight okay, i'm not doing it very exactly but what is the width that much i'll try to do okay now i'll try to copy this and okay so okay. 
we should gonna rotate control R again copy it okay now you have this and then you can put this one on this this stuff it doesn't matter that much okay so then of the leg so now if you want to create that polygon or set side i have taken this one okay i have taken this one again so fill it okay now the only thing is left is assigning the votes three four okay so i'll try to move that into the center okay and i'll try to create a bound okay so now the important part em setup so i'll try to do it fastest so first we need to uh, get the substrate what did we do the substrate as uh, it's roger 5880 right so i'll create to create Project 5880. Mm, yeah, 5880. Apply, apply, apply. So, I think I have given for 10 mil. So, 35 micron. 35 micron. That's it. Frequency plan. 10 gigas right so we'll go for 8 2 12 and auto turn frequency of time everything is good enough substrate ports ports are also good you don't need to corrupt it to the ground layers because only there is only one ground layer so that's there again so now frequency plan set up simulator once you click on simulate the simulation gets started so it's finished okay so the frequency came spot on and let's see as i told you earlier we are going for one one the return loss one two the insertion loss one three the isolation one for the coupling and if possible two two well, let's see okay so now here we came again so marker new line please okay such so as exactly not on 10 gigahertz but we can say it's quite near the 10 so let's find out s11 is 24 db okay s22 24 db so i think this s11 and s11 s22 are same and s14 that is the coupling loss which is around 40 db we heard about we thought about it's going to be 30 db but it's 40 db and this one three that's isolation that is 60 db down so that is there okay so this is a simpler concept where you can design the directional coupler only the thing is you need to have uh the line width calculator that's it that's more we wanted to increase the coupling you just need to increase the space uh you just need to increase the space between the main line and the stub line if you want to decrease the coupling just go upwards that's it it's very simple and uh, in the next video i'll try to uh design uh in another microwave product until then keep designing thank you bye cheers